What's going on guys? TVF Gaming back with another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. We're still going primitive. And we're doing our thing trying to get our elephant, our mammoth, excuse me, back to base. So we're kind of cruising up here and our trike fell off. So we had to come down here and make sure the trike didn't die. And then we needed some water anyway, so it worked out. Uh, we just got to watch out for, uh, there was a Uranus that was up up there anyway. So it's kind of good we went this way. Oh, and there's a cave. Okay. All right. So we're gonna continue going this way. We gotta be a little careful. There are a few things in the water down here, so we gotta hopefully not get attacked right there. <laughs> Got Megatherium chilling on the side, kind of stuck. Uh, so hopefully we're not gonna have any problem with any of the uh, getting attacked over here. As long as the lead sixes doesn't pop out of anywhere, we should be just fine. So we're gonna fly through here. Let's see. Get up on these things once we. Oh no! Don't go under, man. Okay. We got a uh, submersible mammoth here. There we go. Get up on top. Oh, is our trike stuck? No, he's just slow. There we go. So pretty much once we make it to here, it's going to be pretty easy the rest of the way back. We can stay on land for a lot of it. Is our, is our trike stuck? He is stuck. We're going to have to go back and get him. Make sure you're not on follow. All right. Let's go jump on this guy and get him up here. He's going to have to do the same thing. Go under and up. <laughs> okay. Go, 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 go. Okay. All right. So the plan today, I think when we get back, now that we got our mammoth so we can get a whole bunch of wood going, uh, once we get back, we're going to work on, I'm going to build a little dock. I think I'm going to go down to the little beach area, and I think I'm going to build like a little dock down in that area. I, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not completely sure. Uh, that's kind of the plan to get started, but... I want to start with kind of like a little lumber, like a uh, like kind of a lakeside house. Oh, thought I heard footsteps. It was just the trike. But we kind of want to build like a little lakeside house that we're going to start building up. Uh, and we might actually hopefully get a little bit more into some water tames this season. A lot of times I end up kind of just kind of forgetting about the water area. It's not like super necessary when I do my playthrough to, to go in the water and tame any of the uh, ocean stuff. But... Uh, where my base is, I'm really close to one of the underwater caves, so I figure I might as well take somewhat advantage of that. Let's make sure there's nothing down here. All right, we gotta be careful, we don't wanna get too cold. But we wanna kinda take advantage of the fact that we're right next to that cave and hopefully uh, get us just, you know, a, a few of the good drops down there, something like that. Just something we wanna do with the water to where we're actually, uh, you know, making use of it this season a little bit. Hopefully, our trike can get through here this time. Come on, man. <laughs> He's actually got a little bit of speed to him once he gets on land. So you can see he usually does a pretty good job of keeping up. But so we were able to, last episode we were able to finally go get our mammoth. It took a bunch of tries. We were somewhere in the like the 10 to 15 range in terms of how many times we found a mammoth that we wanted to tame and then dire wolves would come and eat it. So it took a while to get this guy going. And this this one's not too bad. What, what do we got here? This is a, uh, oh, we're, we're struggling pressing buttons here. We got a level 210 is where this one's sitting. So that's not bad at all. We gotta name it when we get back. Uh, we're also gonna work on the next two episodes. We're gonna finally get everything named. I, I hate that I go back and none of my dinos have names. So if you have any suggestions for that, hook me up. If not, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of give them some generic names, because that that way, you know, I can tell them apart at least uh, for the ones that we got multiple of. Make sure he's keeping up. So I'm gonna finish this truck back. I'm gonna get up. Oh wow, what's below us? That's a lot of stuff. Be a little bit careful over here. So. We're going to finish the trek back, get back to base, and then get started on our lumber build. And we're going to build something next to the ocean, like some kind of little uh, extended dock or something like that. And maybe get some fishing started, too, if there's any kind of a... Oh, actually, we can't fish because we don't have sap. But we're, we're going to do something, something that we want to get started over there. So that's the general plan for today. We'll see you when we get back. All right, so something happened that never happens. We had a change of plans. Hey, this guy kind of got trapped in my trike here. This is just a level 45. I think he's a male. And ours is a female, so it's pretty low level. But what it's going to allow us to do is do a little bit of, a little bit of breeding with the mammoths. I've never bred a mammoth before, so we want to do that real quick too. So I'm going to attempt to knock him out. This will probably be a disaster. <laughs> I'll just cut it out if I lose. No, I'll, you know I'll keep it in. I don't mind failing in front of everyone. But I'm hoping he stays stuck on the trike, and I can just keep doing this right here. I think we got it just right. But even if he shakes himself free, it's not too bad. The only thing we're really worried about is if he tries to run and actually gets into the water. So, and knock this guy out. Only level 45, so it hopefully it doesn't take as many arrows as the last one did. Just keep busting him right here in the head. Alright. 
There we go, 15 arrows already. So we're shooting pretty fast. Hopefully we don't kill them or anything. All right, there's 18 of them, 19 of them. There we go, so 20 down already. All right. This is definitely faster than what we normally shoot him, but I think he's got quite a bit of health, so we'll be all right. There we go, there we go. Okay, All right, now I just need you to fall down, man. I want to say it'll probably take 40 of these. We're just guessing 40. Hopefully we'll be somewhat close. Oh. Uh, how do I change it? How do I change it? There we go. All right, so he is out. Let's see. Who has berries? Tell me when you guys got berries. You have a whole five. So we'll put these five on it. I like that. That'll get us... A little bit right there and then tell me you have some you do perfect cool I don't think they eat flowers but I'm gonna take the flowers too all right go back to this one let's throw these on there you go tons of berries tons of berries all right so I'm gonna sit and babysit this for a minute and then we'll have a level 45 plus uh, let's see how many levels is it gonna get if I can see it here plus 22 so uh, not too bad you know a level what I say 67 ish so that'd be a good start. So I'm gonna sit and babysit this for a minute and then I'll head back to base and we'll just meet you back when we get back in base. All right, we decided that I'm putting it right around here. Uh, no, you can still see our base from up there. Uh, we did go over there. I like the area over there better, but right off the coastline you have, uh, uh, what is it, an Alpha Megadon hanging out right off the coastline. So we didn't wanna go over there. That was just a little too much trouble for us. So we're gonna come right here. So we're, we're gonna do our initial build uh, with wood just cause it's cheaper and easier just to start with. And then as we build, as we get a little bit more lumber, we'll start replacing it with lumber because we got a little lumber uh, workup going right here. We have a whole bunch making up right here. And so you can only make a thousand at a time. So I have to go over here, refresh, refresh the queue to up to a thousand. Same on this one. So we'll have quite a few lumber once these are done making. And then we'll, we've got tons of stone over here too. Oh, my bad, it's already done. It's in there tapping for no reason. And then right here we have a whole bunch of uh, stone we've been getting with our with our dodicarus so cruising along that that way so we're gonna we're gonna do this and then we're gonna go ahead and use uh, the trick the video that we just watched uh, so this is the trick that uh, Rob Kern linked us to a video uh, and I'll, I can't remember the name of the person of the video but what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put that person's name uh, right here and then uh, if you go watch that video I'll show you how to do the trick to actually work with the pillars it may be something everyone else knows how to do it's something I definitely didn't know how to do but you want to put the pillar right there in the middle and then the next one when you build down you should be able to go up there and destroy that so that's what we're going to try to do so put that one right there in the middle and then next one all the way to the ground and then theoretically I should be able to come and delete this top one so first time we're actually trying it but there we go and it should still have the foundation we'll build out a little further to make sure it's working there you go so now you don't have ones that once the debris clears up, feel free to clear up. <laughs> it takes a minute for the debris now. Seems like this hangs around a lot longer than it used to. There we go. So you see now we got a nice uh, clean uh, deck here, and then we can add two more. So it's definitely working because we can build out further now. So you can see uh, that trick makes it look a lot cleaner, a lot better. So. I'll definitely make sure I, I, I put the name of that person at the beginning of the, that little uh, part that I'm doing right there so that way uh, they can get credit because that's, that's who taught me. And then, of course, like I said, Rob Kern's the one that linked me to that video, so I appreciate that. But it definitely looks a lot better. So I'm going to have to make quite a few more pillars, but our plan, we're going to extend this out quite a way. So I'm going to make this into like a little boathouse, deckhouse type thing. Uh, so, you know, kind of a full-grown house right here, and then it's going to go out. We're going to bring it out to, and I'm thinking like right to the actual edge of the sandbar here to where it really drops off. So we want to come out about this far. So it's going to be a pretty long deck, but I think it'll look pretty cool once we get it done. And then once we get to here, I'm going to build like another little uh, like marina type deal. And then we'll do a little water water pin. And then I may, this may be where we start doing some of our amphibious uh, dinos and tames up here. We'll bring all the, uh, we'll start doing some turtles, uh, maybe a capro. Uh, you know, Sarko, some of those that we can actually bring to this area out here, and we'll do that. So uh, that's the general plan. So I'm going to do some work on this. Uh, it may be a little while, and then 
we may go ahead and go get our first tame just to hang out in this area or at least bring our turtle down here do something along those lines so that's the general plan right now all right i'll be back in a few minutes okay this is what we got so far so far you can tell it, it definitely takes a long time just to build a little bit on here i kind of forgot uh how long it takes when we don't have uh boosted you know really boosted slider so let's see if this worked hopefully i got it right uh, yeah it looks like it's good so we should be able to build out two one more one more and then hopefully this doesn't break there you go looks like we got it right both times so there we go we're starting to figure it out we we had a few trial and errors we didn't quite do it just right uh the biggest thing is when you do it when you go underneath there's two snap points to it so you just got to make sure you get the bottom snap point uh, we were definitely missing that step snap point a couple times so once we got that we were pretty good to go uh but you see starting oh <laughs> nice jump uh so starting to become a pretty good thing right here so it's going out pretty far we want to come out to about right here uh once we get there we're going to bring the level of the dock down just a little bit so that it's uh right above the water we want as close to the water as possible let's not get it electrocuted out here so we want it as close to the water as possible that way it's not too too far above so that should be oh freezing up a little bit so that should be a nice little spot right there i think hopefully so i think that's yeah we're gonna be pretty happy with that let's check on our uh our lumber operation over here hopefully we're getting a whole bunch made up so like i said for right now it's in wood but we are going to come back oh let's see let's build the rest of that so that'll give us 2400 there and 2400 there we've got tons of stone already uh, so once that's done i'll jump over there and start making a whole bunch of uh lumber and then we'll have a nice little uh lumber like boathouse type thing going right here i think i'm gonna come out one more this way and probably just in this direction i'll come one or two more depending on how far it'll go before the foundations start going too far underground so that's what we got so far so start start to come you know come across the way that we were kind of planning here i definitely like it i like i like the fact we're gonna do this little dock all the way out here i'll probably throw some rails i don't know if lumber has rails Does, is there a lumber rail i haven't even looked Let's see, let's go lumber. I think we've learned everything lumber, but I, I'm just coming in here so I can see what we can throw down here. Oh, we're kind of freezing. All right, oh, you can see I did the bloom quality. I've, I've been doing that, for some reason I have to do that again each day, so that's the admin sheet that we're using there. So you don't think it's anything fishy. Yeah. Okay, there is some different lumber chair, lumber bench. I'll, I'll definitely use those, but what, we're, what I was looking for was some kind of railing. All right, so it looks like there's not a railing. looks like we'll have to use just the, the, the typical either wood railing, I guess, along the sides right here. Or the, what is it, a fence? I think there's a fence. Oh, wrong one. Let's see, B button, start. There we go. So I think it's a fence. There we go. We got a wood post fence, wooden pounds foundation, big fence post, big fence section. I'm about to check those out and see what those look like. Oh, okay. There's the opening. So we didn't know about all those. We'll have to check those out a little bit more. So that's what we got planned. I'm going to keep working on this, and then we might go tame something before the end of this episode. Okay, we've got most of the outside built. Now I'm just going to throw on the last uh, walls. Hopefully I've got enough here to finish most of the outside. I think we will here. At least too high. We may go three high later on, but we're going to start for now just too high. So it takes quite a while to build these with the lumber. Uh, it's not too badly. Uh, everything here is just from two full batches of, of wood turned into lumber. So honestly, it's just the time-consuming part of actually changing the wood into lumber. That's probably the hardest part. Once we do that, it's not so bad. All right. Do a little finishing touches here. So we might actually get pretty close to finishing this one up right here. Let's see. Well, there, there. All right, so that's that's one complete side there. So we we may go one one more higher. I think that looks pretty cool though. Uh, we'll get rid of the actual lumber piles here soon. This is just to help us with the actual build on the way out. And I think I have enough ceilings to go ahead and finish. Oh, should we go one higher? Let me see. 
you know, I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to end up doing slope roofs up here. So I'll do some slope. So let's go there and there. So we can go slope on that side. And we'll go that one and that one. And then we'll do actual slope roofs up. So I think I might have enough to make that right now. But first we're going to go ahead and let's get our ceilings. Yeah, we already got our ceilings. Awesome. Throw that down here. So you can see we used, I think we used all of this. That was completely full. We used all that one. And this one, we used all of it. So we gotta, we'll got to fill those up here with the mammoth in just a second. Uh, we still got plenty of stone. It doesn't take as much stone as it does the lumber. Lumber is definitely the uh, the hard part here. All right. Oh, we're stuck. All right. Jump out of here. And then we're going to replace all these with lumber also. Finish that all the way down. I think the lumber actually looks better on the this little deck too. Oh, we're actually getting quite a few supplies from that. We're gonna have to drop some stuff. Oh no, did we run out? Okay, we fell a little bit short on the ceilings. Let's see. I need some more pillars so we can do more of those later. All right, so that's gonna give us 12 of those, so that'll you know, get us back underweight. So we, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why is that different right there? Hmm. Nine, ten, eleven, eleven or twelve. So it's not too, too many. I think we might be able to make that real quick. Actually, we might already make it. Let me double check. We didn't make that. Not there. Not there. Uh, okay, we got tons of lumber ceilings there. Let's take those. Throw those back over here. Are we still overweight? No, we can move. Sweet. Okay. So we definitely have enough to finish this out. No, we're going to be over overweight again here in a second. <laughs> there, we're going to make a few more pillars here in just a second. Right, let's do that. Uh, let's go. Should we go wooden roof? No, we'll we'll stick with. Oh, well, that's what I want to see. I want to see if these how these look on here. Wait till that makes it to where we can move. There we go. So it took eleven. Okay. See that though? There's one or two that are raised right there. That's kind of weird. Okay, we're gonna have to redo that. It's gonna drive me absolutely crazy. Hmm. Yeah, because there's just just those two pieces that are just slightly raised. Okay, we made up the slopes real quick. We'll throw those on. Oh, let's see. We're not sure which way they go. Let's see the other way. There's that one. That will be the same one on this side. And then we'll throw left. Yeah, we'll do it like that. We'll do it up to the point up top. Alright, there, there, and that one. There we go. Yeah, we'll have to, and then I'm gonna have to make more slope roofs. We don't have a lot of these just yet, so I'm gonna have to get some more lumber for these. Throw that here. Oh no, that was the wrong one. I was I selected the wrong one there. Let's see. Oh. oh, that was a disaster. We'll come back to that. There we go. That's what we were aiming for. One, two. All right, let's see how that looks out here. Okay. I think that's going to look pretty good with the actual lumber. So we'll go with that. So we're going to need quite a few more. So that's um, one, two. We're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, sixteen. Sixteen more roofs. So it's not too, too bad. It'll take take a little while. We'll have to do that in between this and the next episode. Do I have any more wall? Uh, set all the walls down. Oh, let's, let's go grab at least a couple walls so I can fix that. Alright, lumber wall. Actually, you know what we can do? Since that's as high as we're going to go, we can go like this. We can do this. So I can fix that one spot, and then we'll use the rest to get a little bit of materials out of it. 
Alright, so we'll put this right there. And then since that's as high as we're going to go, uh, actually right here, I think we're going to do something weird too. Yeah, let me wait on this. Let me actually make sure that I actually get, because I want to make this high enough to where I can put an actual uh, dino gate right here. So I'm going to play with that for a minute before I actually put the rest of those on there. I was going to demolish all these walls, but I might use them for a couple things. So we'll keep those. I'm going to go get a few more, but I think that's all we're going to have time for today because that's getting close to the end of the recording time. Let me see on this side. Yeah, I think we're I think we're good. So got got a little bit done today. Uh, I was hoping to try and get some taming done. I guess we we did tame you know the other mammoth at the very beginning of the episode, but other than that, we didn't get quite as much done as I would like to. So let's see. All right, so there's our our definite work in progress. So n not bad. Plan on actually extending this out quite a ways into the water, and then we'll lower it down. Uh, all the way down to the actual like right above the water for like a little like dock type area is what we're looking at there so that can be pretty much it so if you guys could make sure you guys like comment subscribe i'll we'll see you in the next episode